and welcome. Thank you for joining me for your first session in cleaning up your finances. Now you probably here today because you're ready to do your money differently. Okay, so the good news is this is a conversation about your money, but it's also about you. Because do you know where the power actually lies? Well, I'm here to tell you right from the get go, the power lies with you. But so many people feel like the power lies with the money. What I mean by that is when they've got the money, they feel good. When they don't have the money, they don't feel good. Okay, can you see that roller coaster ride? Maybe you even resonate with it. So it starts with you, and that's the good news. And today I'm going to be talking to you, I'm going to be talking to you about your words. Your words about money. So that would be how you speak about money to yourself and to others. How you think about money. Even how you feel about money. Because the world of money really is made up of two sides. I like to look at it this way. There's the mindset side, you know, how you think, how you feel, and how you talk about money. And then there's the practical side. So today we're going to start with the mindset. And we're going to start with where your power lies. And let me tell you, your power lies in your words. The spark and the magic of your words. Because your words are powerful. Your words are creative. But the question to ask yourself is, are you using your words to build up yourself? And your money relationship or are you using words to pull you down are you focusing on abundance or are you focusing on scarcity so wherever you find yourself right now I want to first reassure you that it's okay this is an inquiry that we're opening up I don't want you to come to this exercise with judgment and criticism but rather observation what do you notice that comes up or comes out of your mouth even when you're talking about money do you talk about how there's not enough or are you worrying about getting through month end again or are you worrying about your retirement or educating your children is it fear and worry that dominates your thoughts or is it abundance and peace of mind so the exercise from today's video is to observe and to write down in a notebook or in my abundance journal if you have a copy of that sorry my abundance diary if you have a copy of that and there's the abundance journal actually um, write these things down for yourself capture the words it's like kind of catching yourself but in catching yourself you actually can acknowledge something and really things can only change when you acknowledge what needs to be changed so as, as I said earlier this is not about judgment not at all but rather observation and awareness bringing your attention to your words because your words represent what's going on in your mind make sense so this is something that you are going to do for you so that's your exercise for today and for tomorrow and I'll be back in two days time with part two of this journey so thanks for watching and if you have any comments or any questions, please let me know in the comment boxes below. And I look forward to hearing from you and I will reply. Thank you so much. Till next time.